Hi, Doug Stuman with IT Creations. Today we'll be looking at HP's ProLiant DL180 Gen 9 server. This 2U rack server offers a beautifully simple yet versatile design, featuring a winning combination of compute performance and storage at an affordable entry-level price. The DL180 platform is a good fit for budget-conscious data centers, service providers, and small to medium-sized businesses running Hadoop, cloud-based software, or mobile applications. Inside the case, a dual socket motherboard features Intel's C610 chipset, which can support two E5 2600 V3 or E5 2600 V4 processors with up to 18 cores each. In a two processor configuration using 18 core processors, up to 36 cores are available and support a maximum clock speed of up to three gigahertz. Each processor controls four memory channels with two DIMM slots per channel for a total of 16 DIMM slots. In a two processor configuration with all 16 DIMM slots loaded with 64 gigabyte registered DIMMs, up to 512 gigabytes of memory is available. Using load reduced DIMMs, you can double that value to one terabyte. Transfer speeds of up to 2400 megahertz are available, but speeds will default to the slowest performer between the processor and the memory modules. While our DIMMs have been a standard offering for server memory, the newer LR DIMM modules use a memory buffer chip to operate at higher speed than comparable R DIMM modules. Load reduced DIMMs give administrators the ability to configure the DL180 Gen 9 for high performance computing environments and typically enable larger capacity memory modules, but they are a little more expensive than registered DIMM modules. The DL180 Gen 9 is available in several different chassis configurations. We'll get back to the video in a minute. I just wanted to let you know for a limited time you can save up to $150 off HP's DL180 Gen 9 rack server with a purchase valued at $1,500 or more. If you're still shopping, click this link and knock $150 off the list price. This system is in stock and ready to ship. Just give us a call and mention this video. And now, back to the review. The DL180 Gen 9 is available in several different chassis configurations and supports either 4 to 12 LFF or 8 to 16 SFF HPE hot plug smart drives. Depending on your storage needs, choose between SAS, SATA, or SSD drives. Drive capacities of up to 10 terabytes are supported in the Gen 9 version. With 12 LFF 10 gigabyte HDs, that's 120 terabytes of storage. Of course, as hard drive capacities are improved, this number is sure to increase. There's also support for an optional M.2 PCIe storage card for fast boot up of the OS, and a micro SD module mounted to the motherboard with a single SD card to install a hypervisor. By the way, the SD slot is not a hot pluggable device, and the system should be powered off before removing the SD card from the module. The DL180 Gen 9 comes standard with HP's Dynamic Smart Array B140i controller. The B140i controller can support up to 10 SATA drives with 6 gigabit per second transfer speeds and offers RAIDs of 0, 1, 10, and 5. HP offers several more powerful controllers to support a full range of drive and RAID options, depending on your needs and budget. For optimal enterprise class storage performance, HP's flexible Smart Array P840 controller with 4 gigabyte cache supports up to 16 SAS, SATA, or SSD drives with 12 gigabit per second data transfer speeds and RAID options of 0, 1, 10, 5, 6, and 60. HP Smart Arrays and HBAs combined with HP's Smart Drive technology offer more safeguards to better protect your information against data loss while reducing downtime. Integrated Lights Out is an embedded chip on the motherboard that comes standard on HP's ProLiant servers. Using ILO's simplified server management tools, administrators can access an integrated remote console to monitor server health, receive alerts, view event logs, and much more. HP also offers licensed versions of their management software, including OneView, ILO Essentials, and ILO Advanced, that provide additional tools to simplify server management and infrastructure complexity. There's also ILO Scaleout, which offers sophisticated scripting tools and is the preferred license for web hosting, cloud service providers, high-performance computing, and data centers. With six PCIe slots available, additional external devices can be installed, including NICs, HBAs, and graphic cards. There are three different riser options to choose from, a two-slot PCIe riser, a three-slot PCIe riser, or a three-slot PCIe riser with flexible LOM. The riser with flexible LOM must be installed in the primary riser slot, and the optional secondary riser can only be installed in a two-processor configuration. The DL180 comes standard with an integrated Matrox G200E H2 graphics video controller. For enhanced graphics, NVIDIA Quadro K2200 or Quadro K4200 graphics accelerators are supported. However, configurations with two graphics cards require two processors, a graphics adapter kit, and either a redundant 800 watt power supply or 900 watt non-redundant power supply. Depending on how the system is configured, administrators can choose from three different power supply options. A silver rated 550 watt power supply, gold rated 800 watt, or 900 watt power supplies. Whether you're looking for a new server for your business or simply looking to upgrade, the DL180 Gen 9 supports a wide range of standard workloads and is also suitable for big data applications. The DL180 can be purchased at an affordable entry-level price, but still offers the scalability and performance features that will allow you to adapt as your business grows. We hope you enjoyed our brief overview of HP's DL180. 
For more server and workstation reviews, subscribe to our YouTube channel, IT Creations TV. If you have any questions regarding this server or any other server, leave your question in the comments section below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Doug Stuman for IT Creations, and thanks for watching.